damn it. The last day in the mountains is Wednesday. I'll show you around what we got to do and then we're going to hit the road in the morning. Let's take a look. <clears throat> you got Mac over here uh, packing the back of his truck. We're getting a dump load ready. Here's the dump load right here and those bins are going to go too. But all this stuff is going to go. I got a time lapse camera going. I've, this is my first time using it. Hopefully I set it up right. The last table to uh, be cleared off and put away. The trailer is packed. Check this out. That's about what we got right there. We'll see how it holds up over the trip. Everything I own. Some people call me a little bit of a hoarder or an overpacker. But this is what I got it down to after 53 years. Got this tire right here that's going to need to be aired up. That's a spare I bought with uh, Rob in Flagstaff at Tractor Supply. Why would anybody call you a hoarder or an overpacker? <laughs> hey, man. It's all, you know, a lot of tools and a spare tire and you gotta have a dirt bike. So I'll put the Harley up in the bus today. That vacuum cleaner is gonna go to the dump. We got a big day ahead of us. Let's do it. Sounds good. I'll be stopped in probably about five minutes. All right, sounds good. See ya. At this point, I've been driving all day. I was up at five o'clock that morning getting things ready and I'm pretty much exhausted, but we've just got a few more miles to go to get to Max property where we plan on holding up for the night in Memphis, Tennessee. Well, I didn't quite have enough fuel to be comfortable to just go ahead and drive on through. So I pulled into a city gas station that had a very tight parking lot and a lot of traffic in and out. Memphis, Tennessee. It's about 10 o'clock at night and I just bent the axle on my trailer. It does not look good. The tire's rubbing on the trailer and you can smell rubber. I'm afraid I'm going to blow the tire and we got five miles to go and I'm doing five miles an hour. I just I don't think it's going to make it. And if that tire blows, then we got a flat tire on the road with a bad axle. I mean, I've got a spare tire, but that's not going to do me any good on a bent axle if we could just get to max property we can appraise the situation like in the morning on a fresh night's sleep in the in the daylight and use his truck to run and get parts i don't like this i don't like this all the 
houses and businesses have bars on the windows. We're almost there. Looks like we're almost there. I don't know where he's telling me to. I don't know where he's telling me to park. I don't know where I'm supposed to park. Here's the trailer. And it does not look good. All right, I'll come. I'll check in in the morning and see what's going on with all this. Here we are at Max property. The Memphis, axle Tennessee. Bent. Memphis, Tennessee. The axle bent last night. I uh, ran into a, those posts that uh, are on the sides of a of a gas pump late last night in a congested parking lot. Tired, not you know, not. Uh, having all my wits about me being a knucklehead trying to get this thing through a place i probably shouldn't have taken it in the first place but if i would have been smart about it there was a way out i just wasn't smart about it so now we got a bent axle it's going to be a setback because today's friday and uh you know they're going to be closed on the weekends but we did find a place in memphis that can make an axle There you have it. We're waiting on the axle should be done sometime early Monday morning, maybe into the afternoon. And then we're getting back on the road. If you've contacted me about having work done, once we get out to uh, Quartzsite, I'll uh, contact you. You should have already been contacted, but uh, I'll contact you again when I get there so we can schedule it. And I know I'm there and uh, ready to set up and get going. If you need anything done, such as a solar panel install, you need power for your rig, you need a bed, you need uh, one of those new diesel heaters, whatever you might need to make your rig better, we can take care of it. Just send me an email at enigmaticpneumatics.com, click the services button, and there'll be a questionnaire to fill out. And just know that I'll be contacting you once I get there. So it's going to be a few days, but we'll get you squared away. We'll get you a materials list going and talk to you about what you need and uh, get you all fixed up. Thanks and see you on the next upload. James Scarborough, going to do an interview and uh, tour rigs. Pretty cool.